It is 90.3 KEXP, and we stream all over the world at KEXP.org. Well, we are all about to get schooled in Kinski 101. So, Kinski, if you're ready, take it away.
Awesome. That is Kinski live here from the Avasta Recording Company on KEXP 90.3. And I have heard that song so many times. I've played it on the air so much. And I just realized that during that part where you uh, keep repeating that hit, it keeps building. It keeps counting. It like starts with two and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But then what happens from there? I lost, I lost count. <laughs> 10, 11. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but then did it, it went back down, didn't it? Oh, okay. That's what it is. Uh, so cool. And that song is called Kinski 101. The new album is called Accustomed to Your Face. And uh, loving the new record. By the, I mean, every Kinski Thanks. record. You oh, thank just you. seem to do no wrong. Celebrating 20 years of Kinski. Uh, does it really feel like time has flown by or does it feel like it's been forever? Or oddly, does it somehow kind of feel like both? I would say it kind of feels like both. I mean, we've had our ups and downs, you know, as any band does. And But the last, like, I mean, since we signed with Kill Rock Stars, which was probably eight years ago, and we've put out a few records with them, it's been, everything's been fun. There hasn't been problems, and it's just been really smooth and fun. So, cool. so um, yeah, we've been having a really good time lately, and I feel it's like just we're... just those first 17 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and speaking of uh, celebrating... Uh, all these years of Kinski. Let's go back, if you will. And what can you tell the people who may not be familiar with a band that seemed to be very prominent in your beginnings, and that is Acid Mother's Temple? Um, we originally toured, uh, there was a band called Mainliner, which was an offshoot of High Rise and Acid Mother's Temple. And we toured, our very first tour was the West Coast with Mainliner. This gets a little convoluted, but Cal Makoto from Mainliner is in Acid Mother's Temple. And we just hit it off with them and became really good friends. And so uh, we just started touring the U.S. with them. And then they brought us over to Japan. And then we asked Sub Pop if they would do a split record with Kinski and Acid Mother's, which they did. And uh, we just became, we've become really good friends and they tour constantly. They tour like eight months out of the year. Mm -hmm. So we get to see them every once in a while. And we're actually going to Japan in February and touring with them again. So they're so just, they're we're just very prominent. In yeah. They're lives. just, they're just great uh, people. And so we have a great time with them. Oh, that's fantastic. And uh, looking at, at some of the great bands that you've toured with, like Acid Mother's Temple over the years. Also, I, you've toured with Mission of Burma and so many great bands. But did I hear correctly that at one point you actually opened for Tool? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was a... We toured with them for a month. Wow. And we only had like five days notice. Really? And the, uh, the smallest show, so five days, we just finished recording a record and we were ex kind of exhausted and, and, uh, and they were like, can you go on a tour tool in, in a month, for a month in five days? And we're like, all right. And the first show was the smallest and that was 9,000 people in wow. Reno. And the shows just kept getting bigger and bigger in these stadiums. It was a, it was a real mind messer. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, incredible. But it, uh, was, uh, but it was fun to see uh, on the tickets, it didn't say the Tool had an opener. Mm -hmm. So the lights would go down at exactly 8 o'clock, and we would come out, and the crowd would go crazy. And it was full, you know, it'd always be full because everybody thought it was just Tool. So it'd be this roar of 15,000 people, and then and they'd then see the it was us, and it'd just go, go shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, let's try to win them over. <laughs> That's the challenge. Uh, I'm sure you won a lot of people over. I was also curious where the name exactly comes from because I was doing some re uh, research and I see that there was a German actress named Pola Kinski. I see there was another German actress named Natasha Kinski. I see there was a Polish actor named Klaus Kinski. Was it any of these Kinskis where the name came from? It's because I'm Polish. <laughs> that was part of it. Not really. <laughs> uh, it was sort of just a nod to, there was a, that big Krautrock, German rock revival when we were getting started in the late 90s. And I fell into that. We all kind of got into that. And uh, it was sort of just a nod to the, I mean, because Klaus Kinski is sort of known as, you know, a German actor, even though he's Polish. But um, so it was just sort of a nod to that whole scene and world of the 70s, really. Mm -hmm. And uh, once again, the new album's called Accustomed to Your Face, and I know that you've recorded albums all over the place. Where did you work on this particular record at? We recorded down in San Francisco with Phil Manley at his studio. It's called L Studio. And uh, the previous record we recorded with him, too. We really like working with him. He's great. Phil's uh, in the bands Trans Am and Feral Ohms, and mm. he's sort of been around forever and knows everybody, and he's just an old friend, and he started a studio in San Francisco, so... Cool. Yeah. And that Trans Am project's still going, isn't it? Yeah, they, uh, they're they all over. The, one guy lives in New Zealand, so they, they get together every, like, two years and make a record and tour. Oh, cool. 
Well, I know that I would love to hear a couple more songs, and I know our listeners would too. So uh, if you would oblige. Sure. It's Kinski, live here on 90.3 KEXP, live from a vast recording company.
And that is Kinski live on 90.3 KEXP, live from a vast recording company. Once again, the new album is called Accustomed to Your Face. And I want to thank Chris, Lucy, Matthew, and Barrett for taking the time to do this and sharing your music with our listeners. Thanks so much. Thanks for playing the record. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Absolutely. That was Kinski live here on 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.